What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we are starting a new project. Some of you guys are going to be familiar with this car already. This is Allen's 1986 Porsche 944 Turbo. This car was originally LS swapped and he blew the engine and just had a lot of issues with the LS swap in general. And that is what sent him down the path of creating the 07K swap for the 944s. If you're subscribers, then you've seen all of my videos on swapping my 944 to the 07K. It is currently at Performance Electronics, getting the ECU and harness installed and should be on the dyno next week. However, that car is the naturally aspirated development car. This car, is the turbo development car. Because I already have a full build series on the other car, the NA swap, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the actual 07K swap parts and everything that goes into just fitting the engine in the car because you either have seen it or you can go watch that build series. I'll put a link down below. What we're gonna do on this series is focus solely on what it takes to turbocharge this engine once it is in the 944 and see what kind of results we can get from it. We're shooting for roughly 400 wheel horsepower. Uh, we've been told that that's basically the sweet spot for an 07K without a built bottom end. So we're gonna push it. We're gonna shoot for 400 wheel. Once we make that power and run it on track and make sure that everything works and finish all of our development process, then we'll start turning up the wick and see how far it'll make it before it blows up. So for today, I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of the car, where it stands right now, what some of the products that we're gonna be using are, and just give you a little sneak peek into what you should expect moving forward on this build. As I said, this is a 1986 Porsche 944 Turbo. It's a very clean and well-sorted example. It's sitting on forge lines right now. It's on Continental Slicks from his last track day. The paint and everything is in gorgeous shape. It's got a 968 wing. The interior is super clean. Sparco seats and harnesses, full roll bar. Just a really, really nice street slash track car. Under the hood, we already have the 07K mocked up. And there you have it. This is the five cylinder Volkswagen 2.5, AKA the 07K. This particular engine came out of a 2008 Jetta. For those who are not familiar with the engine, it uses the same bore and stroke and everything as the Lamborghini Gallardo five liter V10. It actually shares a lot of the same technology and basic design of the cylinder head, which is really cool. If you've seen my other build, you'll know that the Gallardo header actually pretty well just bolts right up. So this engine is completely mocked up. We've got all of our swap parts in there, the cars or the engines in and it's bolted in. Let's start to take a look at what we're doing for the turbo. We're utilizing the spa cast turbo manifold. Uh, we're gonna be running this tile wastegate. I don't remember if this is a 38 or a 44. I think that's a 38. And then if you can see it down there, the lighting kind of sucks, but there is a Garrett G25 660 turbo. The G series is Garrett's newest turbo technology. It utilizes the best compressor wheel technology that they have. So it's a really small package. It's a super efficient turbo and it's good to 660 horsepower, which is obviously a lot. We're going to be turboing my car as well once all the NA development is done and that car is getting a whole set HX35. So we're going to do some testing between the two cars to see the performance difference between the new Garrett G series and a, uh, a diesel turbo. So that'll be really interesting to see. To go along with the Garrett turbo and the tile wastegate, we've also got a tile blow-off valve. This is the Q series. Tile makes just some really gorgeous stuff. And then to cool the charge air, we're gonna be using this pretty beefy front mount intercooler. This one's from Frostbite, which I think Alan got from Summit. It's kind of middle of the road as far as cost versus performance. So we're anxious to see exactly how well it works. 
It is a three inch core, it's full bar and plate. From what I can see, the quality is really nice and I, uh, I have high hopes for it. For fuel, we're gonna be using a Bosch 044 fuel pump as well as some 80 pound injectors. For the exhaust, I'm gonna fabricate a three and a half inch downpipe and then we're gonna go back to Allen's existing three inch exhaust. That's one of my concerns with the build right now is I don't know if three inch exhaust, single exhaust is gonna be big enough for a 400 wheel horsepower turbo build. From the research I've done, it seems like you're really supposed to go three and a half, but comment below and let me know what you think. If three inch is gonna be big enough, uh, if you have a turbo car that has three inch exhaust, how much power have you made? I'm interested to see if that's gonna be a bottleneck or not. Beyond that, the only thing that's really left is engine management. And just like with my NA car, we're gonna be using Performance Electronics, uh, their PE3 8400 full standalone engine management system. Performance Electronics is local to us. They've been fantastic to work with. The guys really know their stuff and their products are at a really, really nice price point for the feature set that you get. One other thing I forgot cooling system. When Allen LS swapped this car, he cut this portion of the rad support, if you will, out. This is actually what holds the header panel in, the piece that covers this up, uh, to run the intake straight forward. So he had to tilt the entire radiator forward. We're going to keep the radiator tilted forward. It still leaves us plenty of room for the intercooler, but he did go ahead and upgrade to a three inch Griffin full aluminum radiator, which should be plenty for the power that we're trying to make. We'll throw some small fans on there. Should be good to go. So that's it guys, that's the introduction to our new build. I had planned for there to be more substance in this video and us actually working on the car, but we were at Performance Electronics until 10 o'clock last night buttoning up the NA build, and then we came in the shop tonight and spent three hours just cleaning and organizing so that we can really hit the ground running with this build. This shop was just a complete wreck from scrambling on the NA build, and. I just can't work like that. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for what is gonna be an awesome build. The five cylinder is already gonna sound great and in a form in my car, I can only imagine how good it's gonna sound with a snail on it in this one. That's all folks, thanks for watching. See you next time.